Scientists from the People's Liberation Army PLA, are proposing a new type of laser-equipped submarine that could potentially be mass-produced to target SpaceX's Starlink satellites. According to a study by PLA scientists, these submarines, armed with megawatt-class, solid-state laser weapons, could remain submerged while deploying a retractable, optoelectric mast to fire at satellites, before diving back to depth. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. The project team, led by Professor Wang Dan from the Naval Submarine Academy, suggested that these laser attack submarines could be mass-produced in the future and deployed across various oceans to counter military threats to China. The study, published in the Chinese-language journal Command Control and Simulation, highlighted that the primary challenge in anti-satellite missions is not hitting the satellite, but concealing the attack. Currently, the main method of anti-satellite operations involves ground-to-air missiles, but this approach has issues, particularly with concealment, Wang and her colleagues wrote. Missile launches often leave long trails of smoke, making it easy to expose the launch location and risk destruction by enemy firepower. This method is deemed too risky by the team. Additionally, satellites are becoming smaller, adding another layer of complexity to these missions. Wang's team highlighted the challenges posed by the Starlink satellites, noting their numerous, densely packed, and small nature, which makes the network highly resilient. Even if many satellites are destroyed, redundancies ensure replacements, making missile attacks inefficient. They proposed that submarine-based laser weapons could address these issues. The paper provided a detailed guide for attacking Starlink-like satellites at sea. Submarines equipped with laser weapons would be deployed to the target sea area, waiting for satellites to come within range. The laser weapon would be raised based on the satellite's overhead time, with other forces providing satellite position guidance. After the attack, the submarine would submerge and await the next mission or return to port. Despite China's collaboration with Elon Musk on electric vehicles, it views SpaceX as a threat. Official data shows China has over 900 satellites in orbit, while the US has seven times that number, mostly part of Starlink. In 2021, two Starlink satellites approached the Chinese space station dangerously, prompting emergency evacuation procedures. This incident convinced Beijing that the US could use these satellites to target China's space assets. While Starlink satellites are primarily for communication, the success of SpaceX's Starship rocket test flight suggested to Chinese military experts that future Starlink satellites could carry military payloads, such as reconnaissance and electronic interference. The Starshield program, launched by the Pentagon and SpaceX to monitor China's hypersonic weapons, has deepened these concerns. China has accelerated its research on laser weapons, making significant advances since Starlink's use in the Ukraine war. These advances include power supply systems for high-power launches, compact solid-state lasers, optical fibers transmitting over 10,000 watts of power, and technology to synthesize laser beams using hundreds of optical fibers. Lasers can also create air bubbles on a submarine's surface to reduce drag or generate silent shock waves for propulsion. Wang's team suggested that submarines with laser weapons could perform various tasks, including attacking anti-submarine aircraft escorting merchant ships or strategic missile submarines, and striking land-based targets like radars and oil storage facilities. A 150-kilowatt laser weapon on a submarine could damage anti-submarine aircraft detection equipment in one-fifth of a second, with an effective range of over 20 kilometers. Continuous firing could penetrate the aircraft's fuselage. China's strategic missile submarines, on standby for second-strike nuclear missions, are vulnerable to aerial threats, necessitating escort by submarines with laser weapons. These submarines could interfere with or destroy overhead satellites, concealing missile launches. China's busy sea transport also requires protection. Submarines, with their stealth and self-sufficiency, can escort merchant ships and attack enemy warships and submarines. Submarines could also be deployed to enemy ports to attack oil storage facilities, causing damage and potentially triggering fires. This would weaken the enemy's ability to obtain oil and shorten the war's duration. By attacking and blockading ports, 
submarines could disrupt civilian supplies, affecting the enemy's economy and reducing public support for the war, causing internal conflicts. If China were to destroy Starlink satellites, it could be for a variety of reasons, each with its own set of implications. 1. Demonstration of anti-satellite capability. By destroying Starlink satellites, China could be demonstrating its ability to conduct anti-satellite ASAT, operations, sending a message to adversaries and allies alike about its military capabilities in space. 2. Space Dominance. Destroying satellites could be part of a broader strategy to achieve space dominance or to demonstrate a willingness to engage in space warfare. This could be intended to deter other nations from using space-based assets against China or to prepare for potential conflicts where space-based assets play a crucial role. 3. Disruption of Communication Starlink provides internet services to a wide range of users, including military and governmental entities. By disrupting Starlink, China could aim to disrupt communication networks, affecting military operations and strategic communications during conflicts or crises. 4. Strategic signaling. Such an action could be a strategic signal to the United States and its allies, indicating China's resolve and willingness to engage in unconventional warfare domains, including space. 5. Space debris as a defensive measure. Creating space debris around operational satellites could serve as a defensive measure, making it difficult for adversaries to use space-based assets effectively during conflicts. This is a form of passive, space warfare, where the debris acts as a natural barrier against functioning satellites. 6. Technological and Intelligence Gain By targeting and potentially retrieving parts of destroyed satellites, China could gain valuable technological and intelligence insights into U.S. satellite technology and communication strategies. An attack on Starlink could have significant and far-reaching consequences, both in terms of immediate disruptions and broader implications for global communication. Starlink is designed to provide high-speed internet access to users worldwide, including remote and underserved areas. Its growing importance and the nature of its service make the potential consequences of an attack particularly noteworthy. Here are some of the key impacts. 1. Disruption of Internet Services for users directly relying on Starlink for internet access, an attack could lead to service interruptions, ranging from temporary slowdowns to complete outages. This would affect individuals, businesses, and critical infrastructure that use Starlink, potentially leading to economic losses and operational disruptions. 2. Impact on remote and underserved areas. Starlink is a crucial service for remote and underserved communities that lack reliable internet access. An attack could disproportionately affect these areas, hindering education, healthcare, and economic development initiatives that depend on internet connectivity. 3. National Security Implications Governments and military operations in some regions rely on Starlink for secure and reliable communication. An attack could potentially compromise national security by disrupting critical communications, especially in areas where Starlink is used due to a lack of alternative, secure communication infrastructure. 4. Global Economic Impact The global economy is increasingly dependent on stable and high-speed internet access. An attack on Starlink could lead to financial market disruptions, affect global supply chains, and impact international business operations, leading to economic instability. 5. Space Debris and Collateral Damage Any physical attack on Starlink satellites could generate space debris, posing a threat to other satellites and spacecraft in orbit. This could lead to the Kessler syndrome, where collisions between objects create a cascading effect of debris that makes certain orbits unusable. 6. Cybersecurity and Trust An attack on Starlink could undermine trust in satellite internet services and raise concerns about the cybersecurity of space-based infrastructure. This could slow the adoption of satellite internet in critical applications and lead to increased calls for regulation and oversight of space-based communication systems. 7. Geopolitical Tensions The attribution of an attack on Starlink could lead to heightened geopolitical tensions, especially if states are involved or suspected of being involved. This could exacerbate existing conflicts or lead to new confrontations in space, contributing to the militarization of space. 8. Innovation and Investment The occurrence of an attack could also impact investment in satellite internet and space-based technologies. 
Investors might become wary of the risks associated with space-based infrastructure, potentially slowing innovation and development in the space industry. The development of a submarine-launched laser beam for anti-satellite purposes would represent a significant advancement in military technology, offering a stealthy and potentially rapid means of engaging satellites. Such a system could provide China with a covert capability to target satellites, which could be used to blind, disable, or destroy them, depending on the laser's power and precision. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out our other videos on our channel and subscribe for more updates on China's defense technology development. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.